Well, now that the presents have been opened and the family and friends have made their way back home, many Americans feel a, a bit of a letdown this time of the year. But getting the post-holiday blues, it's normal. So here now to tell us how to get through them is psychologist and early show contributor Dr. Jennifer Hartstein. Always good to see you. Good to see you, too. Let's talk about some of those post-holiday blues because I will admit I have suffered from them. Maybe yeah. not now, but <laughs> right. in the past. Absolutely. You know, we have all of this stuff going on from really the end of October for Halloween through the end of December. We're busy, 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 going, going, going. And often there's nothing left after that. We don't. We go back to our regular lives, and we get bummed out about it. Yeah. What uh, are, are some of the, the symptoms that people do experience? Well, so there's definitely some symptoms that we want to think about, right? So the symptoms are things like mood swings. We're going to start with some of those. We're going to feel more depressed or more irritable. Yeah. You then might get headaches. You might notice that they're stress headaches because you're not really sure what's happening. Or you're feeling anxious. What am I going to do with my time? Where am I going to go next? Or maybe you're just so exhausted. Or the flip side, having insomnia. You just can't. You're just like fatigued. Yeah. They, they merely mimic depression, but it's usually shorter term, so it doesn't last as long. We put so much build up into the holidays. There's so much run up to Christmas and New Year's, and then when it's gone, I, you mean yeah. you can really see how people do kind of that, that first Monday after the holidays and it's a bit of a letdown. It is a letdown. Let's talk about the difference between, I was joking around about it outside of the plaza a second ago, the difference between the effects it has on kids and adults. Right, and there are some. We think the kids aren't going to experience that letdown, but why wouldn't they? We have to really expect that they would. They've been out on vacation. Yeah. They haven't been in school. Their responsibilities have been minimal. They've been getting to play with all this new stuff and see family maybe they don't see a lot. So we want to keep work on getting our kids back into their routine as best as possible and anticipate maybe a little bit of stubbornness going yeah. back to school, just like we might feel going yeah. back to work. <laughs> that used to kill me. The going back to school one used to Oh, yeah. To that Sunday night blues is, is <laughs> real. <laughs> so let's talk about what we can do and what adults right. and children both can There's do. There's really important things we can do. First, you want to think about what you can do to eat right, to feel right. Yeah. So you want to look at your diet. We have overindulged in every way. We have drank too much. We have eaten too much, too many sweets. So start with replenishing your water supply. Start with thinking about eating more whole grains, which are really going to help keep your energy levels up. Even nuts, right? Magnesium has been shown to keep our energy level at a certain level, and we want to keep that up. So non-salted nuts are good, lean meats, salmon, all things that are keep our omega-3s up with the fish, and the lean meats are going to keep that energy level at an even balance. Yeah. Go back to eating healthy fruits and vegetables, too. Diet is so important for so many different elements right. in your life. Um, let's talk about the weather, too, because that also play, plays a, a significant role, especially when you have to go back to those right. dark, gloomy days. Exactly, and we may not have noticed that the dark, gloomy days happened because we're so wrapped up in our holiday things. So you want to get outside. Get sun. Even if it's a cloudy day, get outside. We have this fabulous sun lamp here that yeah. can help. You can turn it on. Ooh. 10 minutes a day. <laughs> I know. Well, really? A lamp? You won't, you won't get tan from it, <laughs> but the light of it really does help replenish the vitamin D and help with seasonal affective disorder, which impacts a lot of people. 10 minutes a day, consistent schedule. If you're worried about it or have questions, talk to your doctor. They can really help you with that. You also want to get your sleep back yeah. on track, right? Eight hours if you can. Get that back in line. What are your goals that you've set? We talked about resolutions a lot the past couple weeks. How do you keep those in line? And lastly, stay connected with the people if you've seen all your family and friends. Keep that going so you don't have to wait another 364 days till you see them again. And so should there be a little bit of a grace period, though, after the holidays, especially because you've had family, a lot of right. people have family that have been staying with them for a prolonged yeah, period well, of time? Yeah, well, your connection doesn't have to be face-to-face. -face. Maybe it's organizing your photos and emailing them to everybody, but it's keeping that connection of reliving that happy time, that feel-good time that you liked so that you can keep that going and keep your mood up. Do you have one that you personally like to go to? Is it a diet thing? Is it a light thing? Is it a connected? I mean, which one do you yeah. kind of fall back on? I think that for me, it's kind of getting back into the into a routine. So I think yeah. it's a little bit of everything. It's working on the sleep. Eating better is definitely key because you yeah. overindulge and you just feel lethargic and really bad. So for me, it's kind of getting back into getting up at the same time every day and the, the routineness of it, I yeah. really enjoy and I feel better and then I'm like in control. And that's a really important aspect. Some great advice. Happy New Year to Happy you. Happy New Year to really you. Really good to see you. Thanks. Dr. Jennifer Hartstein.